Listen to me, people. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Kavadumpa kunpa yia moka papa. Kumba muri rati kun tona punja nyonyan. Amuti kama na ikuta nun patisa uman kalora kun. Kipona, kava tumpa kuta iya moka paka. Kiyoka kutumpa kuta iya. Kipona, kava tumpa kulpa iya moka paata. Chiyoka kutumpa kulpa iya. Chibedwa na ni bobo. Tonk na bung sha nun yang. Tonk patoga smagdelia.
We either nadana itia. What are you makawama huha nek? A shonk turong unipatoga. Wana kun best ching palamul tongi. Kipona! Kavatumpa ku paiya moka paata! Chiyoka ku dumpa ku paiya!
Yes? Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I, well, it won't happen again. That's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Well, you can stop one. No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway.
gratu loda pograshi on un compa chin tondo mochuba loda dita kun ida patiso batua kacha tu tong pograsha kun ticha ko umba chuba kaha chopa chawa chwish yun ka chi kun ida hodonga ba bona nai Takum just stuck, Mickey. Grab a bogo. Run the deep. What you do about the one in the bobo? Run. Greetings, stranger. My name is Galrud. Are you a Pazak player by chance? If you're. Go away. She's got me too. Kimba muli ra bona ji Kimba no ku mixa tabo ka kinja na wa bakaon tung abashun ni chunchi kipona kava tumpa ku baliya moka paata ji yoka ku tumpa ku baliya one oska kiska ni chu da hupa botenya no giji piti kipona kava tumpa ku baliya moka bata Gioca cu tumpa, cu pelea! Tu. Gioca cu! Kimba muli ra doana gi! Cu yami, juski, chica nai! Uba basca doana ce chopa musca! Gisca da soki, cu pa bona na chachu! Tune pudu! Rana nu prata dungu shirkasha! Jum na pike! Three. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Kuyami juski chika nai. Tong patoga smak tilia. Da beast you bong kunki punk pa. Tong ituama ji human act in ikatune. Who you call a little girl, chuba face? Uba batu konchi. She's got a soki kupa bona na chachu. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Chubasa! Kimba muli ra dwana ji! Kaba volpa murji guma ya! Kibona! Kona na kacho! Kimba muli ra dwana! Taurupa botenya go chocho piti! Justice is one thing, 
but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. <laughs> Showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee okay. is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Bulkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Thek. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a hidden back. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Kalanord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Hey, 
You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon back? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcan Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. <laughs> Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar Spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Bredrick and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcars aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila, then, when we can't fight all the gangs? The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop Race. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The Swoop Race is for the Lower City Gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. 
But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race.
no bambuli racin kun. Takom jus tak miki grabal mogo. Kaci chu ai thao donga tolpa da bonk molia gando da nago chut Moga shampoopa bola wana chikni. Ba mule slik mo poda na wanga kun bist muli ra best. Kaci chu ai thao donga. In kin kun no ba muli ra chikun. Slima podona. Rundi hodonga kun hunkabi. We itha na dana itya. Wata yuma kawama huha nek. A shonk turong umnipatoga. Wana kun bes ching pala mul tongi. Takom justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu aitha hodonga. Tulpa da bonk molya gando da nago chuchut. Moga shampoopa bola wana chikni. Ba mule slik mo poda na wanga kun bist muli ra best. Ui, itha na dan na yitya. Kun ti chani tong pa toga smaktelia. Takom justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga, tulpa da bonk molya gando da nago chuchut. Moga shampoopa bola wana chikni. Ba mule slik mo poda na wanga kun bist muli ra best. Mana mana tota! Aku chikratuk bola, jishok chonatong chung king no una pangpa muli ra kun kili. Kun kili no ba! Wata ti manyo kola una no ku mulira. Wata wama mulira. King kun jo pe shak. No ba mulira ji. Chone yun turung chi. Wi itha dia. Bola una chinek. Ba mulira slimo wanga kun bis king. Tong hai tuam ji ji yu malith pa ang inko tu. Tulba da bunk walya gando da nago chuchut, ka chi chu ai tha haudunga. Yu malith ka inko tun, chilo mulera de ne bobo. Wunko kun biskang, ba mulera.
He answered to me. He endured it out, and really good, and he behind all of the earth. And now for the new star, Rolla. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Rolla, and he behind all of the earth. Do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. <laughs> You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing, or...? It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. You're back. Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? I guess I have no choice but to stay here and hope Holden.
Welcome to the equipment because Off limits. Only Sith. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorized. Well, why didn't you say so? Hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, I guess you can go down to the left. Just be careful down there. Those swoop gangs will take. Palamuji Tunira nu prata dunko zat Tuni pudu rana nu prata dunkno sarcha itua penki Shag Pangpa, Yinkin Kun no Bamulri, Rachikun, Takum Justak Miki Grabal Mogo, Kachi Chu Aithao Dunga, Tulpada Bonk Molya Gando Danago Chuchut, Moga Shampung Tung Hai Tuam Gigi Yumalith Pang Yinko.
back again. If see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? My name's Holden. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Davik Kang. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Evanhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. <laughs> You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh, but it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. 
Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. back. Did you, did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. I can never truly repay you for helping me but you'll always have my thanks for what you did.
Give Davik his cut? Kabadumpa kunpa ye ya moka pata! Bonanai kachu! Yin king kuno ba muli rachi kun! Tong na bun shan yun yang! Kabadumpa muli runda di hotunga kun! Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Tune pudu! Rana no prata don't no sercha it you a penki what on a woman muli ra can you do by shark no bully muli raji johnny tun turji chiwi ita do bola una dicek i knew you boys would see reason now get out of here too bad i was looking forward to cracking some heads maybe next time candorous i better get this over to davik i'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young p I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. There's a bounty on your little green heads. That's the plan. <laughs>
Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone, but I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris.
matter that much. Why can't you just leave it be? I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons. Which are my own. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, all right? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here it goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud of something in the field. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it, if you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? No, it wasn't even that. Th there were others. Good, solid men, trusted men who turned on us as well and joined their cause. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst of others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, no, no. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I don't want to talk. 